Bonnie and Clyde, or otherwise known as the Barrow Gang, were American criminals who traveled through central United States during the Great Depression, robbing people and even killing when confronted or cornered. The Wild Bunch led what many considered as the longest stretch of successful train and bank robberies in American history. Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, commanded four ships with a pirate army of over 300 men. At the height of his career, he captured over 40 merchant ships in the Caribbean and defeated the famous warship HMS Scarborough in sea battle. There are countless more examples of outlaws scattered throughout history, men and women who found themselves on the wrong side of the law. Rather than using their skills for good, these criminal minds spend their time figuring out how to pull off the most perfect crimes. Now before we continue, I'd like you all to know I post new videos on Thursdays and Sundays every week, so please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content. As our technology has improved, so are the techniques utilized by criminals of today. For example, Colombian police reported over a year ago that drug traffickers in northern Colombia had turned to drone aircraft to move illicit cargo across borders. Carjackers today use gadgets to remotely unlock car doors without having to jimmy the lock or smash the window. Burglars now rob hotel rooms using keyless door hacking tools, which can be purchased on the darknet. Over the past 10 years, the traditional bank robbers we've come to know have quickly moved on from the theft of fiscal goods to cyber crimes like ATM skimming and cyber heists. As expected, the authorities around the world have struggled to deal with the increasing sophistication of today's criminals, and I wish I had good news, but it only gets worse from here. In the future, cyber crimes will become far more invasive, dangerous, and even physical. If you watched my episode on inorganic transhumanism, you remember I talked a lot about amazing modifications we humans could add to ourselves in an effort to become better. What I failed to mention was those modifications could also make us easy targets for cyber criminals. Just think about it, all it would take is a simple malware upload from an unsecure Wi-Fi network and an anonymous hacker could do anything from repurposing your cybernetic mods to outright killing you with them. Ransomware attacks like the recent CryptoLocker virus will become even more prevalent in the coming decades. A team of hackers could hijack a sensitive server owned by a company or threaten to erase an individual's bank records along with their financial holdings if he or she does not agree to their demands. With the increasing popularity of self-driving cars, we are told by experts that we can trust these machines to transport us from place to place, but we should all remember that these vehicles run on computers and these computers like the ones we have at home or at work are just as vulnerable to viruses and malware. A well-trained team of hackers could, given enough time, infiltrate the systems within an SDC and make it do whatever they wanted to. A former employee of Uber carried out a demonstration where he and a colleague hijacked a jeep through an internet connection and paralyzed it on a highway. When interviewed about what his research on autonomous vehicles had yielded, he said, and I quote, Autonomous vehicles are the apex of all the terrible things that could go wrong. That should give us an idea of just how bad things could get with our autonomous chauffeurs. You think identity theft is bad now? Just wait. Currently, biometric security devices like fingerprints, facial scans, and voice prints are limited to a few consumer devices. But in a decade or two, most or all of our online accounts will be protected behind some form of biometric security. This would in turn make our biometric data an important commodity to the criminal underground. The term remote assassination is not one that's new to anyone who has an idea of the US drone program. America's war on terrorism has led them to use pilotless aircraft to track down and swiftly execute senior members of terrorist organizations around the world. As drones become increasingly cheap to make and versatile, it assures us that tomorrow's remote assassinations won't just be carried out by military factions but by criminals and terrorists as well. With a bit of coding and some engineering skills, a drone could be easily retrofitted with a small machine gun or an explosive device and deployed to kill a specific target, either by facial recognition or by a remote pilot. 
Terrorists of tomorrow would also utilize these inexpensive drones to commit acts of terror without suffering any casualties on their end. There have been several reported incidents of armed drone attacks carried out by the terror group known as ISIS. Although these attacks have largely been limited to war zones like Iraq and Syria, it is not a stretch to think they could someday spread to other parts of the world as well in the near future. Although we've discussed the many ways criminals will use the internet to hurt or steal from people, there could be scenarios where the average criminal would also want to get something done in the physical world. In such a case, these criminals could turn to robots to carry out their nefarious plans. Never seen a robot robbery gang? Well, the future has that and more in store for us. Some of us may have heard of the genetic editing tool known as CRISPR, and although there are so many benefits from this revolutionary technology, criminals and terrorists alike could use it to wreak havoc on entire nations. Bioterrorists could create designer pests which would lay waste to farmland, or incurable viruses which would kill specific groups of people. This is literally world-ending stuff here, folks. I really wish a lot of these things were mere fantasy, but the truth is they are a fast-approaching reality for our species. And if nothing drastically changes in the way we treat each other, we could end up being the reason for our own demise.